think one of the big aims of the GeoKronos project is to really change how scientists are doing science today. GeoKronos is a tool for storaging, processing, and distributing large amounts of data that can be used for decision-making processes. GeoKronos is a, kind of a virtual meeting place for scientists where we want to be able to share data, share ideas, share tools. So one of the major accomplishments that we've achieved to date is the development of an interactive application service. And so what this enables is users to be able to access scientific applications online, on demand from wherever they have web access, and be able to use those applications almost as though they were just running it on their local desktop. It allows all these communities to interact along the same, under the same umbrella. And when you have the same umbrella, it facilitates the discussion. I think the main uh, significance of GeoKronos is to finally provide a, a central point where scientists can meet and share quality information. So I think that is the, the strength of, of GeoKronos. It's a meaning place, a virtual one, but it is a meaning place. With this project, we've really tried to push the, the leading edge of technology and explore innovative approaches. We've looked at cloud computing technologies and virtualization to manage the computing requirements and to be able to dynamically adapt and allocate resources as are needed. The bulk of the information grows and we can start to see new information emerge just by getting access to more and more information that's diverse. So that's, I see the emergent properties of a larger data set uh, coming through GeoKronos. From a national point of view, I think that GeoKronos presents a very important contribution of Canadian science to the world. The possibility that GeoKronos can actually serve as a tool for other countries to download the information and keep track of their initiatives on carbon sequestration and greenhouse gases and so forth is what makes me more excited. If we can help scientists work together in new ways and collaborate and draw conclusions about the world that they can't possibly draw by themselves through collaborations, through enhanced exchange of information, uh, that's a pretty powerful thing. The, the long-term plans of the project is to, to move ahead into developing of tools that can be actually uh, be accessed by a broad range of communities, not only the scientists, but also the policy makers. This Canary Network is basically providing the, the seed funding for this initiative, and without the Canary Network, we will not be able to have a successful project. It boils down to a, a, a partnership that has been very successful.